and Vaughan Thistle waiting in third scene. Daniel Martin, Jack McDonald, Jason Webb and Toby David on the extender bench as we're up and away. There's a little bit of juggle first up uh, there from the Climber Knights. Carroll now goes down the blind side and would you believe it, the captain in his final game here at Ron Costello Oval. This away pointing and marching directions, but it's Martin who goes to dummy half. He dummies back on the inside, goes to Palmer Quick, steps off the right foot. He looks to go on his own, but he flicks the ball back on the outside of Thomas Angel. Angel twisting and looking to get up over the line. They're celebrating for a try. I think they might have one here, Kayama. Get 45 away from the goal line. Goes to Morris on tackle five. He goes in the air. It just holds in the, the wind a little bit there, and it's spilled back. Play on is the call. Morris goes. The lovely ball back on the inside. And it's a marvellous try to the Shell Harbour Sharks. Gretchen acting half. Morris out to Carroll. They've got numbers out if they want to go that way. They put the kick in behind. As a Harper running through a juggle and then throws the dummy and puts the ball down. I thought for a moment his foot might have been on the touch and goal line, but the referee and the touch judge have no concerns. Last tackle, though. Out of acting half. Bowles goes to the middle and it's Kilmore. And Kilmore with a spiralling torpedo of his own. Um, back up there. It's a knock on. It's been picked up by Palmer Quick. Numbers left and right. And they'll stroll themselves in. That's an easy try for Kayama. Aiden Menzies scores. Defensive resolution here. Palmer Quig throws a couple of dummies. And short to Thistleway. Support back on the inside. Takes a deflection into the in goal. And they've got there. They've picked up the scraps. Has the halfback. I am up. Desperately trying to create some meters. A ball out the back. Oh, and Gretsch, like a thief of the night, bounces on it and bounces over the try line to score for Shell Harbour. As he makes his way um, back towards the dressing room. They go down this side. Irome gets the ball free. Finds Joy Brooker. Got support on the inside. Goes back to the fullback, Emmanuel Sultana, who runs away and scores out wide for the Shell Harbour Sharks. Back. Thistleweight goes short to Cornell. Cornell getting close. Slams it down. And that's exactly what Kaima needed. Carroll lined up at first receiver. He's got Hay on the outside. He goes short to Nicholas Hay. Comes to the fullback. It's a great tackle around the ankles. Another try saved by Kilmore. They've got options here. They go right through the middle. Say thank you very much. Aiden Moles back out there. He crashes over because he was stopped a couple of metres away from the try line. Goes to Carroll. Carroll's short ball. Finds more. Back to Carroll. Throws a dummy. Out the back. They're going to get another one. Goes to the fullback in Emmanuel Sultana who gets his second. Matt Carroll with a try assist. Ball referee tells Hay to get up. Morris at first receiver. Out the back to Carroll. Carroll. They've got numbers here. Irome. Irome bending his way. Getting over the line and planting it down over the chalk. And go through the middle, and they're going to race away. And Jacob Seabrook is going to run around and put the icing on top of the cake for the Shell Harbour Sharks. It's probably been the thing that has let the Knights down. Kilmore goes out to Palmer Quigg. They've got numbers here if they want to go that way. There could be a try coming. So he got it down. I think he has the edge back rower, Cameron Cornell, the afternoon for the Shell Harbour Sharks. They've run out handsome winners here this afternoon in Matt Carroll's final ever home game uh, as a Shell Harbour Shark down here at Ron Costello Oval. They're running nine tries to five to be triumphant by 48 points to 28. Carroll himself, a very good afternoon.